Let's see your other pants. Oh my! Hi there, I'm Oliver Knox, and I'm a passionate believer in the importance of our soil. It's for the most amazing ecosystem on our planet, and it's where our food begins. And in order to allow farmers to investigate their soils and understand it better, I've been asking them to take a pair of white underpants and to go through a project called Soil Your Undies. By burying a simple pair of soil underpants, they can start to investigate their soil health, that microbial life that's in that soils, that phenomenal ecosystem, and start to appreciate just how incredible their soils are. So with Territory NRM, we're gonna go out and look at some pants on some farms where they've soiled them just to see how incredible their soils are. And maybe in some cases, they might need a little bit of help and love. Let's see if we can find out if that's the case. Hi, I'm Darcy Scare at Panada Farms here. We run a mango operation across the Northern Territory. We went out to Darcy's farm, a mango farm. Oh yeah, look, yeah. That's not too bad. It's on very sandy soil that maybe has a bit of a bit of an issue with pH and perhaps with holding the nutrition. But the pants broke down pretty well. Not superb, but pretty good. Yeah, yours, Merry Christmas. Oh, then <laughs> you want to share? That's fantastic. Yeah, enough for both of us, I think. So. Well, what do you reckon? What do you think about it? Pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. There's lots of degradation. Yeah. No, when I pulled them out, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was actually really surprised. The good news is that kind of level of activity suggests they're turning over nutrients, they're breaking down the residues that you've got around and helping to refeed those plants and mm. give you cracking mangoes. Because of these results, in the near future, we're probably looking at some new farming practices if we can. He's looked at that and said, you know what, I can do a little bit more here in terms of my management, putting some more organic matter out of his strips between his mangoes and throwing that perhaps under his mangoes will help feed that soil a bit more and improve his soil biology even better. So the next time Darcy soils his underpants, he'll get back next to nothing. I'm Darcy and I've sold my undies. <laughs> I'm Mia Ross and I'm a trainee agronomist at EE Muir and Sons. We went out onto another mango property with Mia and Mia had her first pair of pants. She thought they were going to be sweet and they were. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, what an awesome pair of undies. What do you reckon? Pretty good, hey? Pretty good? <laughs> Look at that. I did expect them to be good, but probably not that good. I think it's just amazing. It just suggests that the moisture that's under these trees where these pants were is spot on for microbial activity, and the soil itself high in, or higher in organic matter than some of the sandier stuff we've seen, which is just great. That just feeds these bugs, and you gave them a cracking pair of pants, and they've <laughs> chewed, chewed, chewed. The soil was nice, it was loamy and clayey, and it obviously drains pretty well despite that clay content. And that first pair of pants you dug up there was fantastic. But a second pair of pants... <laughs> oh my God. Oh my! They're a bit different, aren't they? They are. What do you think's going on? Different soil type. Different soil type. I, as soon as I saw them, I thought, wow, that's really different. Sitting above a clay pan on a field that's not draining quite as well, the air that we need for the decomposition of those pants didn't take place. I think what we're looking at, though, definitely here is an issue with the moisture getting away. So it's just slowing down that biological activity. Yeah. That's all it is. Interesting. I'm Mia, and I've soiled my undies. G'day, my name's Jeremy Trembath. I farm with my family just north of Catherine. We're a mixed production system and we supply the local market and we have fun doing it. I love coming out to Jeremy's place. His systems, his techniques are just inspiring. And he takes us out to three locations. The first one, dust them off, put them back on. <laughs> not very well soiled. They're, they're, they're not, are they? They're, they're not very well broken down at all. Clay soils, heavy, and again, those clay soils are likely to hang on to that moisture, creating anaerobic conditions. Not ideal for a lot of the biological life that's gonna break down our underpants. Even that natural discoloration, that yellowing of the cotton fiber, that's like a good sign that there's some activity taking place. Yeah. But I think, yeah, it's just been limited by the moisture. The next step Jeremy took us to, he knew the soil in that little patch was maybe not as brilliant as it could be. He's still pushing some fantastic management on it. And you go, okay, what did we get there? And we got a pretty well degraded pair of pants. There we go. <laughs> That's not too bad considering these have been in the ground 20 days less. It's just breaking down that cellulose, getting at those sugars. Why? Because the moisture's right, the activity's beautiful, and you've got cracking diversity in your soil. That's oh, good to hear. This is a great <laughs> pair of pants yeah, because good. it says this soil is 
is tops. Room for some improvement, yes, and that's the plan to keep making those changes. What makes you think the third pair is going to be even better? This is really sandy, yep. this patch. I think there's just a bit heavier and it is just strikes a balance. And there we go, guys. Look at that. This is exactly what we want. Oh, they're crackers. <laughs> we don't have a lot left. No, but that's what we're after, isn't it? Look at that. The third pair of pants, phenomenal. I mean, let's face it, there was elastic and there was just stitching. That's what we want in a truly active, healthy soil. So would you say that the agricultural practices on this farm to have this result have been quite good? I think they're phenomenal, to tell <laughs> the truth. It's a loaded question. Yeah, it is a little bit. <laughs> Look at my pants, they're brilliant. What do you reckon? The system is working, the cattle seem happy, Jeremy's happy, the system is in a wonderful balance. Definitely I'm going to change things about my management because I believe we can improve from the benchmark we've set. But I want to do better. You want it still I want, want to, to do, do better. better still. And we saw that with several our growers, it's still that comment that I can do more, I want to do better. And that to me is just brilliant. Our farmers are so committed to their soils, to that wonderful ecosystem, and to just making it even better. I've really enjoyed soiling my undies with Territory NRM. It's been a really great experience doing the soil with the undies, and I look forward to doing another one in the future. Territory NRM, thanks very much. I'd like to soil some more undies in the future, and your support is invaluable for myself and the greater community. My name's Jeremy Trembath, and I've soiled my undies. <laughs> <laughs> they are brilliant, I love them and I'm glad that in soiling their undies with Territory NRM, they've learned something more about their soil and they're still keen to do more. It's brilliant. Thank you guys, thank you girls, thank you everybody. Let's soil our undies.